Alrighty, fellas and fellas, welcome back to the channel. So, there's a lot of body work that has to be done in this car, a lot of sanding. So, I'm going to tackle the underhood off camera because I've done that countless times. I'll bring you guys back when it's sanded. I'm going to pour the DMK frame, but the body will be the main thing that we will, we will, uh, will film. I'm not going to worry about fixing that little bit of rust down there on the dog leg of the, on the, dog leg of the fender or any of this back here. So, just get the car done and out of my yard, and he can enjoy it and everything like that. So, you guys like this kind of content, stay tuned for some updates in this video, because we're going to be jamming on it in this video. You guys time lapse time almost got our mixing cups these dad's grabbing a strainer and the gun here's the paint we're using sublime green it's one one step so uh we'll see how it turns out bring it right back all right we got mixed all of this jack here mixing up some paint You think that one guy that paints with rattle cans on here that we that we do reviews on the second channel, you think he's ever done this? Sublime green. So what are you mixing it to? Calls for eight to one to one. Eight to one to one. Looks like safety uh, uh, one. Yeah, whatever, I'll mix it here. Too smoked. Alright, grab the cup and move back over here. Alright, you guys bring guys back when he's stirring it. Or when he's he's stirring it right now, but when he's painting. Yep. Is the top of it or the back of it? That's the top of it right there. I'll have to spray the back.
guys. So it's got to be because there's some here. One coat is done. Um, bring you guys back for the last coat. Turns out pretty good, I think. Um, now I got the statues done. I'm gonna detail the engine bay, K member, and some some other small stuff. Make paint them back black, and then we'll start body working the whole outside of this car. Do a better job on the outside than we did on the underneath this hood. Yep. Look at this shit. This is almost bad right here. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Oh, show car. Hey, we just channeled our, our uh, favorite YouTuber. It's rust. I mean, like, in order, the only way to fix that would be to put some filler on it and, and sand it off. And I mean, like I said, it's not a show car. I'm not gonna. It's like a four-door Valiant. It's been smacked in the back real hard. And... Yep. So bring you guys back for last. Dad, how many times have you done one step? Maybe two, three. You're pretty proud of what you've done? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure the fuck am. We're outside in the dirt. We got our galvanized down on the ground. Try to keep dust from kicking up. Keep dirt from getting on your feet when you climb in and out. I mean, we're having fucking that big ass hose on the gun where you can't really maneuver it around. You know, with that big hose, it's hard to. Me being a fat fuck that I am. It's hard to squeeze down in there, you know what I mean, and, and actually move. But I did the damn thing. Yep. So I'm gonna pull the K frame out of this here before I put the engine in it and detail it up, paint it black, paint the little splash guards black, paint that black. And then um, right there, the heater core goes in, there's a plate. I wanna pull the filter screw out of that, paint that black. But I don't wanna do that until all the shit's dry. So I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours, 48 hours, something Probably like that. Four or five days. So yeah. And then before I go, I was trying to stick a Phillips screwdriver in these little Phillips holes and stuff and fucking it up. But yeah, so next step is to start body work on the outside and get this outside painted the same color. What do you think, Dad? Anything turn out? Outside, I mean, that turned out good, but I mean, I got to run over there. I mean, I'm not going to try to deny it. I mean, I got to run over there, plain as day, but I mean, we're but like this run here, that's like in the factory. You can show me the, the hood of your dart yep. out there. Something with the, the metal. It, it's actually in the metal. I mean. So, yep. So, we'll have two Sublime Green cars on the channel. We'll have the dart and we'll have this. So, but my car is base clear. This is one step. So, get ready for over the next couple of weeks, it, you guys. Yeah, I'll try out 10 times better. Yep. But I, there, you, it really can't. It'll, it can only turn out maybe three times better than this. I mean, yep. this is not perfect, but it's close. You know what I mean? Yep. So, We'll uh, almost start body work maybe in the next week, middle of next week on this. Dad said he wants to take it down to the green, the original green, which you is fun. So, this is a problem with spray bomb on a car, dude. Look, look, you see where it's at right there? Now, watch. I'm gonna open. Look at that. Look. Are you getting that? Yep. I mean, that's the problem with spray bomb on a car. And the gentleman before I sprayed this thing black was just stupid because it was really pretty green. It really was. Dad's soaked. But it was that color green right there. Same green as that right there. This is a really pretty green. Kind of wish you had left it like that, but it um, had an accident. Didn't damage any frame rails or nothing or any real structural part. It just caved in this door in the quarter, but I'm not really going to worry about fixing that too much. So It's a four door Valiant, dude. I mean, what do you want? I mean, so. It's not worth it. It's not even. I mean, what? What would it be if it was a mint condition worth maybe 10 grand? You guys tell me. What do you guys think this car would be worth? All original mint condition. Let's say it's beautifully restored back to it. Looks like it just rolled off the fucking car line. How much would it be worth? I mean, what's what's the worth of something like that? I mean, it's 63 plus Valiant V200 four door Six slant sinks. No frills, no AC. I mean, I mean, originally it wouldn't have had power steering and have power steering now, but. Yep. I mean. So, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, like and subscribe. More to come on this car as well as Skylark as well as the Model T. I had to get Crane on the Model T next week. Well, well, 
it's Friday right now, so I'll get Karen on over the weekend next week. And then you want to set up for a close off? So, you guys don't need no fancy tools to do this shit. You guys can do this in a dirt floor shop, yeah. dirt floor. Just patience. Just, it takes the will to want to do it. You have to prep want to do it. Prep work is everything with paint. Whether you're rattle cannon or whatever, prep work is everything. And this is minimal prep work, I hate to say. Like, maybe a couple hours. Bare minimum that we could do. Yep. Because, I mean, because it's got rust. I mean, look down in there. See, that's rust. That, that's pitted. I mean, here, look. These are pits. I mean... In order, to, in order to make this look slick, you'd have to make sure you had filler in that, set it all yep. down. I mean, again, the car's a four-door car. It's not good shit. That's going to be better than what it was when it came here, so. Well, I wouldn't be embarrassed to pop the hood and look nope. paint. So, um, once it dries, I'll get the plugs. I have these plugs. Me and Dad took them out. I'll put the plugs back in. Right there, I'll detail that bracket right there. Uh, plate. And the column's got to come out. It's going to be rebuilt, so. No big deal there. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. See you guys next time. Bye bye.